ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to AOW Elevate as we get ready for the Alpha Championship Division Elevate Tournament. We see Draven of the Undisputed Future will be taking on the Messiah, Aiden Arthur. Next up, it is going to be the Straight Edge Assassin, Michael Alexander, taking on Tyler Ronan. Also to come, we have the powerhouse of Havoc Sampson versus Marcus Power. And our final first round matchup here tonight is going to be the Broken Heart, Braden Heart of Nemesis going one-on-one -on -one with Jacob Bad of Evolution. And we're going to get you started here tonight with Draven taking on Aiden Arthur in what should be an interesting contest. Aiden Arthur is a former AOW Alpha Champion. Losing that title to current champion, the unpredictable Jono. As the Messiah Aiden Arthur would love nothing more than to win this tournament and get a chance to regain what he lost at AOW Spring Break. Draven has yet to hold championship gold here in AOW, but has tasted it plenty of times, had plenty of opportunities, just not able to pick up the big one. And we'll see if that changes here tonight. All right, AOW Elevate action next. First match underway here tonight at AOW Elevate. And there's the bell. Both men tie up middle of the ring early. Waist lock takedown from Aiden Arthur. 
Draper reverses side headlock. And now the trip takedown. There to Arthur. These two men, no strangers to each other, have shared the ring many times here in AOW. Vicious back elbow strike. And Draven meeting it with one of his own. Reverse DDT. There from Arthur. Just a thundering body blow there. Irish whip into the corner. Referee. Collateral damage there. As our officials down. Slow to get back to his feet, but our official is okay. But unable to make the count there. Oh, Draven going for something big there. Did not connect. And a snapmare takedown from Draven. And a neck breaker. Impressive maneuver. European style uppercut. From the man from Blackpool, the Messiah, Aiden Arthur. And now Draven has him down. A little bit of ground and pound action from the martial artist of the undisputed future. Early cover here goes for the PN1. And a kick out from Arthur. And a running neck breaker from Aiden Arthur. Draven retreating to the outside. Arthur telling him to get back in the ring. And that he does. Snap suplex from Draven. Jawbreaker there from Arthur. Followed by a big clothesline. Aiden Arthur, the Messiah, looking to go to the top rope. Looking for a high risk maneuver. An impressive maneuver it was. Incredible. I was hoping our team would bring that back up on replay. I wanted to see exactly how many flips Arthur just hit in midair. Problems with our replay booth though. And we'll continue this match as Aiden Arthur remains in complete control. Pin attempt unsuccessful. Irish whip into the corner. And now it's Aiden Arthur with some ground and pound action of his own. Continuing to work over Draven. Wheelbarrow face buster. Impressive maneuver from Arthur. And Draven looks to be in trouble. Arthur taking too long. And Draven able to fight out. And now what's Aiden Arthur going for here? Ah, oh, backdrop right on the corner of the ring apron. Very painful and then followed up with a snap suplex there. And again, it's Arthur connecting with those thunderous right hands and sending Draven back into the ring. Northern Light Suplex goes for the bridge, but Draven able to get the ropes. Foot under the ropes there, breaking that pinfall. Arthur going for a belly to belly suplex. Instead of drive by kick from Raven, and it could be over. I apologize, Draven. And now, 
Draven is trying to fight his way back into this contest. It's been mostly Aiden Arthur throughout the match. Arthur going to the top rope now. Looking to go high risk again. Draven has no idea where he is. Turns around right into a missile drop kick. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. And another Northern Light suplex there from Aiden Arthur. Draven fights back. Oh, and he could be looking for the Draven effect. Draven effect DDT right in the middle of the ring. Arthur's busted open and he might be in trouble here. Again, Draven taking his time. Trying to put Arthur away. And a mistake there. Gets caught with a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex by Arthur. And both of these men's downfalls appear to be all the taunting and posing going on. Two. Nice schoolboy roll up there. And Draven trying to fight back with a clothesline instead gets draped throat first across that top rope. Arthur looking to put him away, going for the finish there. Draven having none of it. And could we see it again? Draven effect. But he's not going for the cover here instead. Trying to dish out a little more punishment. One, two, and a kick out. Again by Aiden Arthur. And you can see the frustration start to build on the face of Draven. And there he is again, that drive-by kick, looking to put Arthur away. One, two, and another kick out. Aiden Arthur just able to get the shoulder up at the last second there. And now it's Arthur fighting back, realizing he almost let this one slip away. Fighting like a man possessed. Camel clutch locked in, but broken up by Draven. And now Draven taking his fight to the outside. Sends Arthur crashing to the floor. And both men are brawling here on the outside. Draven again taunting his opponent, telling him to get up. And a vertical suplex right on the outside of the ring. Neck breaker there from Aiden Arthur. Maybe just the turn in momentum he needs. Now it's Draven fighting back, taking this fight back to the inside of the ring. And Draven looking to set Arthur up for something here. Slingshot into a spear. Shades of Draven's undisputed future leader, Galfi, there. Oh, and Arthur going back to the top rope. Could we see it again? No, this time going for a big splash instead. Connecting with full force there. And pop up power bomb. Arthur has him one, two, and a kick out from Draven. This match is still going on. And what an impressive bout to get us started here in the first round. Snap there from Aiden Arthur, but Draven fighting back with those educated feet. Arthur drops toe hold right onto that middle rope and just putting all of his body weight right across the back of Draven. One, two, and another kick out from Draven.
And Draven not letting up one bit here. And Arthur just sends him crashing to the outside and into the barricade. Draven not finished yet. Still has some fight left in him. And is trying to fight Arthur off here on the outside. Arthur with an arm drag takedown. Now taking the fight back to the inside of the ring. Arthur going to the top once more. And there it is. Beautiful maneuver. So nice. He may want to hit it twice. Draven back to his feet. Dodges the second high risk maneuver. Goes for the cover. One, two, and another kick out from Arthur. And Draven continuing this assault. Doing everything in his power to take the Messiah down. Another drive-by kick. And this one's got to be it. One. Two, and another kick out for Main Norther. I can't believe it. Draven can't believe it. Arthur again fighting back. European style uppercut from Blackpool's Messiah. Goes for the cover. One, two, and another kick out from Draven. Camel clutch applied. Draven in a bad way here. But again, able to loosen the grip of Aiden Arthur and fights his way back into this match. Back and forth, both of these men continue to go. Neither letting up an inch. One, two, and another kick out from Draven. Arthur can't believe it. Again, going to the top rope. Looking high risk once more. Messiah Complex. Finally got word from the back with what Aiden Arthur calls that move. And look at Draven fighting back. Big clothesline there. And a big discus punch. Spinning around the world. And Aiden Arthur looks to be in trouble here. Both of these men are busted wide open. Fighting tooth and nail. Trying to tear each other apart here. And what an axe kick there from Draven. Arthur could be in trouble here. One, two, and another kick out by Aiden Arthur. Now it's Arthur in control. Takes Draven down with a clothesline. Arthur headed to the top rope. Going for that big splash. Draven got his knees up. Clothesline from Aiden Arthur sends Draven to the outside. Arthur is telling him to get up, trying to get him back in the ring. Draven still not moving, and Arthur going to go in pursuit. And face first on the corner of the ring, Aiden Arthur trying to put Draven away once and for all. Again, looking high risk. We don't typically see this from Aiden Arthur going for the elbow drop. Misses and gets caught here. Impressive pump handle face buster from Draven. And Draven has just pulled it off. He's won this contest. Yes, 
his victory for the young man of the undisputed future. And after a hard fought battle that literally went down to the wire. It's the undisputed future Draven that will be back tomorrow night for round two. As the Messiah gets fit packing. Meaning the former champ is now out of this tournament. And Draven will advance to round two. And there you see it, folks. Impressive, impressive performance from the man known as Draven Wilson. And he will go on tomorrow night to face the winner of our next contest. As it will be the straight edge assassin, Michael Alexander. Showing up here at Elevate tonight to take on Tyler Ronan. Ronan has been the definition of a title collector during his time here at AOW has held many championships but it's still been eluded by that prestigious AOW World Heavyweight Championship. Michael Alexander has challenged once for the world title during his time here in AOW but was unsuccessful now looking for a shot at the AOW Alpha Champion, the unpredictable Jono, by winning this Elevate Tournament. And making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, he is the straight edge assassin, Michael. Alexander! Assassin Michael Alexander and Alexander going to work on Ronan here early. Taking the fight to the outside. We've seen an extremely long, incredible battle 
between our first two contestants. And you have to wonder if that'll play a factor into the rest of this tournament. As you'd have to think, Michael Alexander and Tyler Ronan would like nothing more than to end this match as quickly as possible, saving some of their strength for the rest of the tournament. Back and forth brawling here on the outside so far. And incredible athleticism, both of these men quite evenly matched so far. But you have to think, this fighting on the outside of the ring, this is the straight edge assassin's territory. And after a series of neck breakers, seems to be taking control of this contest. And now face first off the side of the ring. Big clothesline there from the straight edge assassin. Big double knife edge chop there. You can hear that shot echo across the arena. And Alexander not letting up one bit. Ronan finally trying to fight back and get some offense in. And he's unloading. On the straight edge assassin. Alexander sent face first into that ring post. And this may be the moment. The opportunity that Tyler Rowan needs to put this match away. Continuing to pick up where he left off. Tyler Rowan going to work now. On Michael Alexander. And just like that, Alexander saying, is that all you got? And Ronan still got some fight in him. And what a maneuver. He just planted Michael Alexander. Now Ronan starting to build momentum. And a big kick to the face from Tyler Ronan. But it appears that just angered the straight edge assassin. And just punishing Ronan in the middle of the ring. Ronan always uses quickness and agility to escape. But then gets planted with a snap suplex. Oh, caught him with an elbow. And that could be it. Face buster. One. Two. And Tyler Ronan nearly stole one here. Look of disbelief in Ronan's eyes. Cannot believe Alexander was able to kick out. But he may not be able to escape this one. Submission move applied. And Alexander, a brutal shot right to the face. Able to escape that maneuver. Going for a super kick caught by Alexander. And a diving front flip clothesline one, two, and another kick out by Ronan. Alexander could be looking to put him away. There it is, straight edge execution from Michael Alexander. One, two, three. And there you have it, folks. In quick fashion, the straight edge assassin has advanced to round number two. Michael Alexander will be back tomorrow night where he'll face the winner of our first contest. 
Drake and Wilson have an undisputed future. And there you see that straight edge execution at the end, and that was all she wrote for Tyler Ronan. Michael Alexander, one step closer to challenging for the AOW Alpha title. And we see tomorrow's bracket as Draven will take on Michael Alexander, but we still have two matches left to go here tonight as we're going to see Samson of Havoc taking on Marcus Power. And still to come we have the Broken Heart. Braden Hart taking on Evolution's own Jacob Bad. And we still have some incredibly epic action ahead of us here tonight. And these two men look to continue it next as we're about to see the powerhouse of Havoc take on the man that literally is named Power, Marcus Power, and what should be an incredible contest. Power versus Power, unstoppable force versus a movable object. Strength versus strength. What happens when the freight train combines and collides with the mountain? Chaos is what happens, and we got it next here on AOW Elevate. his way to the ring, representing Havoc, he is the mighty Samson. Samson, a former AOW Alpha Champion, would love nothing more than to come out victorious in this tournament and get a shot at the unpredictable Jono at breakout and a chance to regain the AOW Alpha title.
impressive physique. Incredible strength. And these two powerhouses will look to tear each other apart here. And there's the bell. Marcus Power. Incredible display of strength here early. Fall away power slam. Nice dragon screw takedown there from Samson. Samson has been a very valuable part to the very dominating faction known as Havoc here in AOW. And again, look at the strength of Marcus Power. Deadlift sit out power bomb. And Samson is not used to being handled like that in many matches. Samson used to being the bigger, stronger man in most of his contests. But out here on the outside of the ring, this is where Samson loves to play. Loves to unleash punishment on his opponent. And you see that taking place here with power. And if power is going to stand a chance in this match, he's got to get the fight back inside the ring. And power fighting back, trying to do just that. But gets caught with a big right by Samson. Samson goes for a drop kick. Dodged by Power. And a big clothesline. But Marcus Power unable to even get Samson off his feet there. And then gets tossed like a rag doll halfway up our entrance ramp. Now both men brawling. Power trying to take the fight back towards the ring. Instead drops Samson face first on the steel stairs. And power showing. He's got a mean streak as well. And power was trying to bang him off them stairs one more time. But Samson able to fight out. Oh God. Marcus Power skull crashing. Off that steel step. And you can see Power's just reeling in pain now. And Samson taking complete control of this match. And out of desperation, Power trying to fight back. And he gets the big man down. Double axe handle. But Samson is unloading. A brief moment. It looked like Power was going to fight back. And then just gets completely brutalized by Samson. Samson not finished. And now tossing Power back into the ring finally. And Samson still looking to toy with Power. And yeah, that may have been a mistake. Backpack stunner from Marcus Power. Who with one move has seemingly fought himself back into this contest. And now that's a smart strategy going to work on the legs of Samson. And Power's got a second win. He could be looking to put Samson away here. And a spear from Power. One, two. Not enough to take down. The mighty Samson. And now Mark is looking to go high risk. 
looking to put his body on the line to try and take Sampson out here. Diving clothesline. Connects with perfection. One, two. Man, and that takes me back. Reminders of the legendary Doomsday device. Made famous by the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Legendary tag team. And power continues to work. On Samson, a second backpack stutter now. We've seen the effect the first one had. And Samson just letting out a big freakishly loud roar, a scream. And it's as if that second backpack stutter had no effect. And now look at Marcus Power. Right after the assault from Sampson, Power bounces right back up to his feet and continues to unload. And this has been an incredible match. It's not often you get this quality of match from two powerhouses. Oh, and the fall of man. Sampson with the fall of man out of nowhere. Goes for the cover, one, two, and a kick out by power. Sampson can't believe it. And Sampson looking to put him away here. Pump handle face buster from Sampson, and that could be all she wrote. Goes for the cover, one, two, three. And there you have it, folks. After a hard fall, heavy hitting contest, it is the Havoc member, Sampson, who advances to the next round. And is one step closer for an opportunity to regain that AOW Alpha Championship that Samson lost earlier this year. And there you see it. That pump handle slam into a face buster. After the fall, a man was unsuccessful. And Samson comes out victorious. You see, even our official could not wait to get out of the ring. You never know what damage this man is going to cause. We'll have more opportunity to do so tomorrow night as he advances to the second round of our AOW Alpha Championship Division Contender Elevate Tournament here. And we have our final match of the first round scheduled to take place next. And it's going to be the Broken Heart, Braden Heart of Nemesis taking on Jacob Bad of Evolution. And I expect this to be another hard-hitting, epic contest. Jacob Bad, more of a powerhouse competitor, while Braden Hart is more of a technical wrestler. We've seen impressive feats from Braden Hart ever since arriving here in AOW. But nothing compares 
to the level of impressiveness that has been on display from Brayton Hart ever since the governor sunk his teeth in the heart and created the monster now known as the Broken Heart. And it's been said best about Braden Hart. Some men don't have goals or morals. Some men just want to watch the world burn. And that statement perfectly describes the nemesis member, the broken heart, Braden Hart. to get this match underway. Side headlock there from Jacob Bad. And the broken heart now fighting back. Trying to get Bad over with a suplex. Jacob Bad going to work on the legs of Brayden Hart here. Smart strategy. Oh my goodness. Look like Bad tried to decapitate Brayden Hart. Brayden Hart tries to fight back and just get swatted like a bug. And there we go, Braden Hart finally able to get some offense in, takes Bad down. And 
and submission hold applied, working on that arm and shoulder area. And again, Jacob Bad. Overpowering. Braden Hart leaving him in a bad way here. And just tossing Hart like a rag doll. But we know Hart can take some punishment as well. And Dragon Screw takedown to bad. seen him use this move before. That running knee shot. The bad news knee. Sending Braden Hart to the outside. Hart was waiting on him though. Countered out. Reverse DDT. Tornado DDT a second time. Seems to be one of the most efficient ways of putting Jacob Bad down. Oh, and we could see it here. Torpedo drop kick. The broken arrow is what he calls it. And we know what's next. Sharpshooter is applied. Middle of the ring. Jacob Bad in trouble. Nowhere to go. And able to use his leg strength to fight out of that sharpshooter. Another drop kick. There from Hart. Takes Bad down. And goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out from Jacob Bad. Just able to get the shoulder up. Continuing this assault now. And he's got Jacob Bad in a bad way. Goes for the cover. Two. And another kick out from Bad. And going to work on the arm and shoulder there is hard. Gifted technical athlete. But Jacob Bad is a powerhouse. Indeed. And he's proven to give 
Part a little bit of trouble here. Part again, submission applied. And bad again with an escape. Rope first across the top rope. And Hart again going for the cover. Two count and another kick out from Jacob Bad. Now big wrestling takedown from Bad. Irish whip now into the corner. And he could be looking to deliver some bad news. Bad news knee strike. Sends Hart to the outside. Now Hart with a back elbow able to bust bad open. And using that one brief moment to try to take opportunity, but Jacob Bad refusing to give in, still fighting. Drop kick from Hart. And he could be, can he get him turned over? Sharpshooter applied. Bad's close to the ropes, but he can't get there. He's gonna have to tap. And there you have it, folks. Insane. Insane. The broken heart, Braden Hart of Nemesis. Can't help Got secrets I can't tell. Advances to round two. And we'll take on I like to the winner of our last contest. Tomorrow night in round two. And round two is going to feature Dragon Wilson of the Undisputed Future taking on the straight edge assassin Michael Alexander. And then we'll see Samson of Havoc taking on the Broken Heart. Braden Hart, tomorrow night in round two. The winner of both of tomorrow's round two matches will pull double duty tomorrow night as they will face off in the finals to determine who will go on to break out to challenge the unpredictable Jono for the AOW Alpha Championship. We'll see you tomorrow night. I'm Kip Carter signing off.